Wow. Can you believe this shit? Facebook? Like, just what the fuck is wrong with our society? People are now snorting condoms for a YouTube challenge. Uh, I, I thought the Tide Pod challenge was stupid. Holy shit. Why is it we live in a generation where these younger kids think, oh, for a YouTube challenge, let's see Tide Pods. Or for a YouTube challenge, let's snort a condom. Okay, it's a condom. It's not cocaine, so why are you snorting it? That's not how you use a condom, silly goose. Like, maybe you should learn how to use a condom so that way people like you don't reproduce. If you're that unbelievably stupid. Oh, yes, the stickers. I got those a hot minute ago. Thank you for the stickers, Death Main. Most appreciated. I know when I go to make my uh, my certificates for my next batch of wands. Nope. Yeah, I'll be using those stickers on my certificates of authenticity. My handwritten certificates are about to get a lot better. Uh, no, I'm serious. Like, people are fucking storing condoms, and I'm like, why? Why the fuck are you snorting condoms? What the fuck is wrong with millennials? Like, god damn it. Hell yeah, Death Main, that's what's up. I'll be using those for my handwritten certificates for my wands. So it'll feel more authentically official, I guess. I don't know. I mean, there was nothing wrong with the handwritten certificates that I had before, but adding these stickers to the handwritten certificates will give them a more, I don't know, aesthetic feel, I guess. I don't know. Well, let's see, if you, ins if you inhale a condom through your nose, it can get trapped in your fucking airways, so you probably could choke on a condom. Now, how silly would you feel? S Mrs. So-and-so, I'm sorry for the loss of your daughter. Oh, no, jeez, how'd it happen? She was trying to be trendy like all the other people on YouTube, and she snorted a condom, and it got stuck in her nose, and she couldn't breathe, and she died. Me, I'd be trying so hard not to fucking laugh. I'd be like, I'm sorry for your loss, but maybe y'all should have been better parents. Like, if you see your kids got condoms in their rooms, you'd be like, you're not snorting these, are you? No? Okay. What are you doing with them, then? Well, I got a girlfriend, and I don't want to get her pregnant. Okay, that's it. That's good, 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 good. Or, like, you walk into your daughter's room and she says she uses them for her vibrator or whatever. Okay, fine, but what's up? And then yesterday, or the day before, we get the world's first female mass shooter. Oh, jeez. And, of course, she tries to kill four people, and she only manages to kill herself. That's why women can't shoot guns. Oh, just kidding. Let's hope that feminists don't see that, that shooter from YouTube shooting up the YouTube office and taking it as inspiration to get their point across. Oh, because you know how sometimes feminists get triggered by... <laughs> Now, because nobody actually died from that, the only person that killed her, that got killed was the person who shot herself, I want to make jokes about it. Because it's like, today was a historical event. 
We witnessed the first, the world's first female mass shooter. Every now, 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 because you know how it is, right? You know how it is. Everyone be like, "Oh, those asshole men, right? Those asshole men." Well, technically speaking, we haven't had a female mass shooter at all. Like every mass shooter that we've had has been some pissed off white dude. You know what I'm saying? Like for the most part. So, and now we finally get a pissed off white female. And of course, because she has a Middle Eastern name, people immediately use that as an excuse to t attack Muslims. And it's like, get the fuck out of here with that shit. Okay, this chick has severe mental problems. Don't use it as a propaganda to attack somebody else. Attacking an entire group of people because one person has a Muslim sounding name. Like, get the fuck out of here, dude. This chick was seriously fucking mentally disturbed, man. And here's the thing, okay, in all sincerity, Facebook, in all sincerity, if um, YouTube decided, well, we don't like your video, so we're going to demonetize it, which has happened to me several times. I've had several videos that YouTube says, for whatever reason, you know, I'm not going to allow you to make money off your own YouTube, blah, blah, blah. I'm like, does it suck? Yes. Is YouTube retarded? Yes. But attacking a bunch of innocent people because you're unhappy with the changes YouTube has made. Like, that's not the way to do it, folks. I don't care who you are. Have I been happy with YouTube's changes in the past? To tell you the truth, no, I haven't. Some of the things that YouTube has done in the past. Is that Sharpie? Fuck no. This is an eyeliner pen. I mean, I could use Sharpie if I wanted to, but this is an eyeliner pen that a fan sent me. Like, I'm just saying, I, I, I can't like, oh, I understand to a degree why people do it. You know, I work. It's understanding to get pissed off. I get it. Okay, you know, YouTube can be a great place for people to make money and make friends, you know? Maybe, like, you're getting bullied in the comment section or someone else is getting bullied in the comment section. And then, lo and behold, you or someone else gets... Like, someone will come to your defense and be like, hey, what this guy do to you, you know? Or some shit. Or maybe you start a gaming channel, and then you, you connect with a couple of gamers on YouTube, and you all live stream together, and you know what I'm saying? So before you go off and say that all men are the same, that we're all just crazy gun-toting assholes, guess what? That's a sexist statement. I mean, if that chick wanted to get her point across about how she's unhappy with YouTube, then, and here's the thing, whenever I'm upset about something that YouTube's doing, I make videos and I bitch about it because that's how I do. And quite often I'll bitch about it for a couple days if it really pisses me off. I do game, yes. I have not played my PS3 in for fucking ever. Of course, I might not even need stain for this. I, I keep smoking out of it and hitting it with the lighter. And my pipe's getting darker and darker after I sanded the, the finish off. Which I tried to give it a green stained finish, and it just didn't look that good. When it's, I mean, it looked all right, but when it faded off, it looked kind of weird. It wasn't one even color. It was like, what the fuck?
Yeah, exactly. Exactly. Tim Stockston gets it. Someone made a video openly like, oh, yeah, fuck King Cobra. Yeah, fuck Gothic King Cobra. Yeah, I'm talking about your boy like that. Just going on and on. And some fat, balding fucktard who looks like he's about to die at any minute from a diabetic attack was attacking me on YouTube. Just tearing into me, right? And YouTube says we don't allow bullying and blah, blah, blah on YouTube, right? I've, I've come to notice that when it comes to bullying, everyone else can bully me, but I'm not allowed to bully anyone else. And it's bullshit. Because as soon as I made a video responding to this fucker on YouTube, I went off on him. I went ham. I tore him a new asshole with the insults I had to say on YouTube. And what does YouTube do? Oh, we're going to take down your video because you're bullying somebody else. I'm like, excuse me? They were bullying me first. You motherfuckers don't do shit about this kind of issue on social media. So I step in and say my two cents. And the minute I'm getting bullied and standing up for myself in a YouTube video, my standing up for myself in a YouTube video gets classified as bullying? Are you fucking kidding me? Yeah, that pissed me off. I will admit, that kind of pissed me off. I was like, what the hell, YouTube? I'm getting bullied on social media by some fat nobody with no hair who's ripping on me. I make a video to stand up for myself. And YouTube says, oh, well, you're bullying this person. We're going to take down your video. Like, no, 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 no. I was standing up for myself. Okay? Why didn't you take down his video? Him saying, fuck King Cobra, fuck this, that, blah, 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 blah. Of course you're not going to. Everyone else on YouTube can bully me, but as soon as I do it to somebody else, oh, that's not allowed, Mr. Saunders. Here on YouTube, we don't tolerate bullying. Fuck you. I've had about enough. And this isn't the first time I've experienced double standards when it comes to bullying. This one high school I went to, I got bullied by my classmates, and the teachers barely even did shit. If not at all. Okay. But I started bullying this kid who was pestering me in school, and they're like, well, you can't do that. Okay, so apparently... I'm the only one that's allowed to get bullied. Everyone else that gets bullied is, I guess, different case, huh? You know what I'm saying? And I, I got tired of that shit, like how teachers and YouTube would hold me to a double standard. Everybody else could bully me, but as soon as I bully them back or try to fight back in some sort of way, I get told, oh, you can't do that. You expect me to roll over and take it? Fuck you. So, yeah. Some of the crap YouTube's done in the past is irritated the piss out of me. But has it been enough to make me want to shoot up a place? Fuck no. Fuck no. Fuck no. Because that's the kind of crap these trolls want me to do. These trolls want me to snap and kill myself or snap and kill a bunch of people, okay? These trolls that bully me on YouTube are only just dreaming of the day I do that. And I'm not going to give them that satisfaction. These trolls will bully people like me, hoping that someday I'll pull a mass shooting or blow my brains out because of the, you know what I'm saying? And fuck that. You know what I'm saying? Like, I got bigger fish to fry. Yeah, after fucking YouTube basically said, told me I couldn't make a response video to that fat loser who was making fun of me on YouTube. I had some fat loser making fun of me on YouTube, and I'm like, I'm not having it. I make a video responding to his shit, and that video gets taken down for bullying. Like, really? And when he was bullying me first, and yet his shit doesn't get taken down... After my little attempt at firing back at him didn't work, I pretty much said, fuck it, 
I'm going to block that person from my channel and move on. Like, I cannot begin to tell you how fucking frustrating that is. And here's this fucking chick shooting up the YouTube headquarters because her videos got demonetized. Aww. Did you get your widow videos demonetized? Aww. Boo-hoo. Boo fucking who, you stupid crazy cunt. There are people on YouTube who have it way worse than you do. Who get bullied nonstop, all day, every day. Every video they make it gets like 40 bazillion hate comments. It's a shit ton of dislikes. And sometimes some of these YouTubers, they don't, some of these YouTubers don't even deserve, most of the YouTubers don't even deserve the hate they get. It's just people are bored sad, miserable fucktards. And because people are bored, miserable, sad fucktards, they have nothing better to do. Let's pick on people on YouTube who come off as different or abnormal. Ha 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 ha. <coughs> well, ain't that the truth, Kevin Williams? That's exactly how I became a bully. I had a bunch of kids in the one school that were picking on me, and this one kid that was pestering me on top of it. So I started bullying the kid that was pestering me and fighting back with the bullies that uh, were harassing me. And eventually kids stopped bullying me for the most part, but that kid still kept on pestering me and pestering me and pestering me. He's lucky I didn't kick his fucking ass. He's lucky I didn't fucking slam his face into the locker repeatedly, causing a mild concussion. Just... <laughs> and if any teacher would have tried to stop me, I would have fucking kicked their ass too, because that's just how I fucking roll. <laughs> Oh, glorious. There's a little bit of tobacco in me pipe. I must have had it stashed away. I must have like, smoked a little bit of a bowl of tobacco and then put it away. Oh, I would have if I would have had more guts to do it. I don't give a fuck. I wish, I wish there would have been more violent growing up. That would have been funny as fuck, watching teachers and students cower beneath my feet. Yeah. But if you act offended or shocked by such things... Any flavors of tobacco I hate. Liggets. Liggets are disgusting cigarettes, yo. Liggets taste nasty. And I mean nasty. That's the nastiest tasting cigarette in the entire fucking planet. No, they wouldn't have taken, they wouldn't have sent me, if I were to beat up with a couple of teachers growing up for not doing anything about the bullying issue, like, you won't do anything about the bullying issue in this school, guess what, I'm kicking your ass, I'm kicking their ass, kicking everyone's ass. Because you're out of line, you're out of line, you're out of line, this whole goddamn school's out of line. Uh, the worst they would have done is expel me, and I would have been grounded at home. Uh. 
Oh, they're talking about two different bullies. That one, I'm not even going to say his name. I remember his fucking name, but I'm not going to say it. Fat fuck from Kentucky. Yeah, he's the one that got me fired from Wendy's. Well, he doesn't even go to the fucking Wendy's I worked at. He wasn't there when I served customers. Yeah. Apparently, when I left Wendy's, people would ask, Hey, where's Josh? Where's that lobby attendant? Hey, where's Josh? Where's that lobby attendant? Oh, I miss Josh. He, he did a good job cleaning the lobby. Shit like that. Well, I got customers asking about me, saying, Oh, where's Josh? You know. Roundhouse kick to the back of the head. Fuck yeah. That's the way to do it. Especially when you're wearing steel toes. Roundhouse kick to the head. All you hear is... Oh, fuck. What was that? On the ground, knocked out. Like, oh shit, you cracked their skull with one kick. That was awesome. Yeah! Oh. Uh. Yeah. <coughs> God damn it. Of course, these days, my big biceps and my dark powers do the talking. Think about a roundhouse kick is they go to spin around and kick you with their foot. All you gotta do is catch their foot in midair, pull up like that, and then boom, use all the weight of your body to just body slam them to the ground. And then you hold them to the ground and just start punching them in the face as hard as you can. They go to the fucking roundhouse kick, you block their foot. Yank up, and as you yank him in the air, just boom, cross shot as hard as you can right after you yank him off the ground. So as soon as they hit the ground hard, they're just like, Argh! and then you're on top of the motherfucker, and then boom, right in the kidney, boom, right in the fucking face, boom, right in the front. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Just, just go ham at it, man. Brass knuckles off her pussies, man. Real men use their fucking fists. Actually, brass knuckles are for cowards. Real men use their fists. Oh, you're afraid you might hurt your little wrist? So you wear brass knuckles? Aww, that's so cute. Hmm. If I had to. <laughs> if I fucking had to. Zachariah says, would you stab someone or slice at, at their face with your knife? Again, if I had to. See, I try to avoid fighting because making someone else suffer and enjoy it too much. And I'm a big dude. I could pretty easily fuck somebody up, so I have to have... A quote from Spider-Man, with great power comes great responsibility. <sighs> Wait, well, he says, I meant, would you prefer stabbing or slashing? Don't really have a preference, whatever gets the job done. <laughs>
Uh, that's how you do, Miss Mr. Uh, Gene Anthony. <laughs> Weirdos, man. Well, oh shit! I should go check the mail real quick. <sighs>
Well, Facebook, I really didn't get anything in the mail today. The packages or anything. I think the uh, the trolls have given up on, like, sending me stupid shit. Because I think they're just like, you know what? We could keep wasting our money and sending him a bunch of stupid shit. But he's just going to react to it the same way every time. He's not going to blow up at it. So what's the point? I think he beat us. <laughs> Have you people seen the show Our Cartoon President? It's the cartoon that uh, is basically making fun of Donald Trump and it's gold and shit. Oh, well, yesterday Rasta man decided not to go with me to the party, so he went to go hang out somewhere else. Hey, what's up? Sorry, I was gone for a minute. I was um hunting for some tobacco. But I think subconsciously I, were, I realized that if I would have been more violent in school, I would have been in a lot more trouble. So probably a good thing I didn't act out too much. Well, is it hard to grow your own tobacco? Not necessarily if you have the right conditions. I have not heard of cigarette juice before, but sounds rather uh, peculiar.
Hmm. What is this YouTube link you are sending me? Man, it's too bad we can't smoke in here. I know. I'm dying for a cigarette. Cigarette juice from Cinco Drinks. Feed your need for nicotine with this new cool and refreshing beverage. Our drink spurts extract the tobacco from real cigarettes. The tobacco is brewed in Cinco water and then hand squeezed to give it that thick brown cigarette taste. Good news, cigarette juice. <laughs> uh. <laughs> That's nasty. <laughs> no, of course it's, it's not real. It was a joke. I know it's not real. It was just a joke that they did for an Adult Swim show. <laughs> I'm all watching that like, ew, dude. I mean, I like cigarettes, but not enough to drink something that would taste like it. I mean, I, I just I don't know. I'd rather just smoke my tobacco than drink it. And Tim and Eric is a stupid show on Adult Swim anyway. Yeah, okay, that, that's what that's what I don't under I, don't, I fucking understand. Rick and Morty, which is way better than Tim and Eric Awesome Show by a long shot. Yet somehow that tripe, known as Tim and Eric Awesome Show, is allowed to be on Adult Swim. But shows with actual plot to them, like Rick and Morty, you get taken off. That makes total sense, doesn't it? Ah, uh, ah, uh, oh man, I hate that. I got a sneeze stuck in my nose. I fucking hate when that happens. Like this shit. <laughs> Damn, it's only Thursday. And that's the thing of it is not all millennials act like that. They they just get a bad rap from the majority of stupid people that live in their generation. Well, has Tim and Eric been done for years? That's that's good. Um, not really, CJ, because I'll just I'll break the tobacco into the pipe and smoke it. You know what I'm saying? Considering that fire kills bacteria. I'm not going to catch AIDS from cigarettes, dude. Seeing all these are just going to go into my pipe anyway. I mean, pfft. 
The only way you can catch HIV is through unprotected sex with somebody who's infected. Or if they take a cut on their arm that's bleeding and then they rub the cut against a cut on your arm that's bleeding. <coughs> <coughs> you can't get AIDS from sharing cigarettes. It, it just, no. There's no such thing as AIDS breath, you dumb. <coughs> I'm not saying you're dumb, I think you're just misinformed. There's no such thing as AIDS breath. You can't breathe onto a cigarette and infect tobacco with micro AIDS follicles. It doesn't work like that. Uh, no, it fucking doesn't work like that. You cannot catch AIDS from somebody breathing onto tobacco and then somebody else smoking it. That, that's stupid. Now, maybe if you had a cut on your lip and that other person had a cut on their lip and they transferred a little bit of blood from their lip cut to that cigarette, and you smoked it, and you had an open cut on your lip, that's more likely, okay? That's more likely. Uh, it's all right, Mr. Gene Anthony. I've just, I've never heard of that. Your uncle got AIDS from a chipmunk, though it bit him in the nutsack. Sorry to hear it, Gene. Do they have a cure for AIDS now? That is fucking awesome. According to Zachariah, there's a cure for AIDS now. Anyway, it's not a big deal like it was in the 80s. Yeah. Well, if there's a cure for AIDS, that's most definitely what's up. It's only a matter of time, right? Yeah, there's a cure for AIDS. It's called condoms. <laughs> you know, that's a good question. Carrie Thrasher says, who would win in a fight? Danny Filth or Ozzy from 1971? Hmm. You know, I don't know. That is a good question. I really do not know. Couldn't tell you.
This is person calling me from Casper, Wyoming. Hmm. See, I often wonder if the glue on those handles is done drying just yet. Hopefully it is so I can paint the uh, one wand and then Mod Podge the other one. I'll give them a little bit longer to dry before I add Mod Podge to them. Yeah. I kind of figured out a way to do two at a time instead of one at a time. So production will speed up on my wands just a little bit. I have not heard it, but I'm sure it is pretty good. Uh, no, 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 dude, you're good. Um, yeah, happy birthday wishes to go out to uh, Kevin Williams. It's his birthday today, so everyone in the comment section, wish Kevin Williams a happy birthday if you could. Well, shit, if I had some alcohol, I'd drink or take a shot for you, but I'm dry at the moment. Yeah, Kevin Williams is a pretty cool dude. He's been one of my good friends on the, on the uh, interwebs for a, a minute, you know what I'm saying? Oh, very nice. The glue for the one I'm going to paint is dry. I 
it looks like the glue for this handle is dry as well. All right, time to add Mod Podge to this wand. Get the first one in the batch done. I'm gonna have one wand that's just plain colored. And the rest are gonna be painted. This will make the process go a little bit quicker. I like the way I wrapped the handle on this one. It's pretty nice. It looks and feels like a wand. So now we're going to have to do these separately real quick. I'm going to start off with the handle on this wand. I'm going to paint the handle with some Mod Podge. So I'm sitting here thinking, okay, maybe if I have a set list of wands that I do for each batch, one wand is red, one is orange, yellow, green, blue, purple, one that's white, one that's black, one that's plain colored, you know. I get a set of wands that I make, that I know what I'm making every time I make them, you know. And now, like I said, YouTube and Facebook's waiting for the wands to dry is the uh, most time-consuming part of these. Trying to get a nice, even coating on this entire handle. What up, bro? Hey, man, can I come in? Yeah, give me a second. Okay. I'll meet you at the back door. All right, sounds good.
There we go. I got the handle for that wand done. These are going to have to dry in stages, otherwise I can't do it all at once. Otherwise, it'll look shitty on the finish. I want to pause the other handle too real quick. So this way, Facebook, I figured out how to, uh, get two wands done instead of doing one at a time try to get like a minimum of two going at once is it once i discover it oh okay you take the thicker wand to put it on the virus clamp first out of the two you can use that leverage to uh work on a smaller wand at the same time And all these wands can produce the same results. It depends on how much you put into them yourself when you buy them. But yesterday I was sad that I was going to work on these and I was slacking on them pretty bad, Facebook. So now, now I'm just like, well, I'm going to quit making excuses and just do it. This Mod Podge smells kind of funny, but you know what? That's all right. I don't mind. Now this one that I'm podging up on the handle right now is going to be painted red. That's after the pond is done drying on this side. There we go. I, I managed to make a legit business here. No, you don't. Motherfucker trying to escape on me. I'm like, I don't think so. Stay right there. There we go. So I found a, uh, a trick, I guess you could say, Facebook, into increasing the uh, production speed of my wand making from my Etsy store. As one of those is going to dry clear with no black on the handle. That's the one I'm going to do the same and just punch the other side of it. Smooth. I'll knock my tobacco pipe out of my hand, trying to put the lid back on. Shit happens, right? <laughs> no, but I packed that tobacco in there nice and good so it didn't fall out. <coughs> I've literally increased the production speed of my wand making by at least one extra one. So this next batch is going to look even better than the first batch. And once I get it down to an exact science Facebook, 
Ooh, look out. I mean, I got that crystal scepter to a point where it's almost done. I just need a couple more things. I'm gonna smoke a cigarette real quick because uh, that was kind of nerve wracking. That fucker almost fell off. I caught both wands before they fell off the vice clamp and hit the floor. That was some ninja shit. It wouldn't have broken the wands necessarily. It's just, you know, they would have gotten Mod Podge on the floor. And I'm just like, no. I forgot. I really truly forgot how much I enjoy making wands. I quit doing it for a number of years. Never thought I was good enough to sell them online. And then one day I just got tired of it. I'm like, you know, not a whole lot of people in town are going to hire me because I'm Gothic King Cobra. It's nothing against me. It's just, well, you choose to be a public figure. People are going to see this public persona you give off on social media. And then they were like, ugh. Well, that failed miserably. That's all right. I reach into yeah, this one right here. Get like two bowls full of tobacco loaded into my ashtray, and I'll be set. Well, I'm about to end this live stream right quick, Facebook, and go hang out with a friend for, for a bit. But, uh,. Uh, this video is not too long, it just barely peaked an hour. Get to watch it dry in processes. Uh, so instead of smoking that, because it's got that right there, you just take it, squeeze it. Into the pipe, just like that. Ooh And that Mod Podge always looks weird when it's drying, but then eventually, you know. Now that Mod Podge dries, I'm gonna do the second halves of those. Because by the time it dries, it won't stick to the vice clamp and then, or get anything on it, you know. So instead of doing one at a time, I increased my productivity speed to where I'm trying to get at least two of them done at, at, this, at one time. An animal shelter might hire me, just because I'm amazing with animals, though. <laughs> I seem to make friends with dogs a lot easier than I do people, but you know, go figure, right? <laughs> yeah, 
Anyways, I'll catch you cool cobras on the flip side.